Hey guys, Casey Maxwell here with Art of Divine Touch. So I am in my purple room. This is my arts and crafts room at home and also my healing space with my altar. So I've been sitting in here just meditating and doing some work online and really trying to focus and hone into um, communicating with you guys in a better way, in a more clear way. And I was outside working in the flower garden this morning, and I took a little video earlier. If you want to check out the flower beds, they are beautiful. But back to the point, while I was sitting here, a bird flew into this window over here. And it was really loud, and I thought the whole window was going to break. Um, and I, I peeked out there, and the poor thing was laying in the grass. Um, and me being me, I'm normally one to go rescue the critters, even if it's bugs. And I instantly ran outside and around um, to the back part of the house. thing was laying there so I went up and I picked it up and this is just a little testimonial of being present in the moment and calling upon your angels calling upon your guides really honing in on your own healing abilities and believing in love and believing of that power of prayer and I did just that I sat down and I picked up this little bird and I really prayed over it I noticed that it wasn't moving and it's mouth was open, having trouble breathing with a lot of blood, and I was just assuming that, you know, it possibly hit the front breast and something had happened within the lungs and there might have been fluid or, or blood and it was having trouble um, from the breath being knocked out of it to collect itself and not knowing the full extent of the damage. And at first I just kept my hands around it without picking it up and started to call on the universal energy and use the Reiki and the sacred symbols and deep breathing and then I called on the angels and I specifically wanted to share with you that I called on Ariel and Raphael which normally work together in this physical plane with the creatures of this planet and with animal life and calling upon that God essence, that spirit essence, and the earth vibrations. I just really stayed present with this baby bird. I gave it a lot of love, and eventually I got my hands close enough that it wanted to jump in them on its own, and I was able to hold it there for a very long time, praying and watching its mouth open and the blood and having trouble breathing, and just sat very still. And eventually it started to look at me more deeply, and cock its head and I started to sing to it and my prayers became song and I started to sing the Reiki symbols and started to chant and hum and ohm and in that moment its breast sank down and it got calm within my hands and peered back and forth at me as I sang and eventually closed its mouth and seemed to be quite content and breathing normal and before I knew it it just bounced in my hands and and flew off and everything was fine so it was just this sweet little moment um just a few seconds ago a few minutes ago I wanted to share this story with you about being present in your moment and sometimes nature just comes calling and the universe will ask or present many different things to you and you just have to jump in and be there and be present and be loving for something and, and have faith and be believing and put all your energy forth. Um, and no reason to have doubt or fear. And it was just simply without any expectation being present for this baby bird that the universal energy that I was calling forth and allowing the angels be present opened up space for this bird to heal on its own and to do what was necessary um, for its own path. And it was a beautiful imprint in mine and a story that I'm able to share with you. So thanks for listening, and I will share more later.